Hello everyone, this is Anil from Informatica Support. Today I am going to show you a demo on how to configure ActiveOS with the JBoss. So basically, basically configuration of the ActiveOS we just need to do once we once we run the installer. And this steps we just need to do when we are uh, installing ActiveOS, uh, integrating ActiveOS with the MDM or installing ActiveOS as a standalone application. So the agenda of this video is uh, some prerequisite we, uh, we, we should have and the impact and finally finally I will give you a demo how to do this. So the prerequisite is that uh, we should have our uh, JWAS installed and uh, install active uh, MDM and we should have our installer run for the uh, active server. So the impact is that uh, uh, once we configure all these steps, it should create the resources for the uh, J uh, in the JWAS like data source, security domain, and it will deploy the ActiveOS server ER and the ActiveOS Center war uh, in the JWAS deployment directory. And once all the steps are done, we can just we can just uh, deploy the BPR file uh, for the for the from the ActiveOS designer to the ActiveOS server, and can just invoke the processes from the MDM application. So let me give you a demo how to do this. So once my installer is, installer, uh, is done, so I, I just have to go to the location where I pointed my installer to install the ActiveOS server. And I will go to the ActiveOS server, server, uh, server enterprise, JBoss config, and the bin directory. And I have to run the config deploy dot bat in case of uh, in case I am using Linux, so I have to run this uh, deploy dot sh. Once I click on this, it will pop up the window uh, where I just need to provide all the values. So this this is my configuration options like whatever all configuration I just want to do, like uh, configure ActiveOS server, ActiveOS central, configure database, and deploy finally deploy the ActiveOS resources like creating data sources, security domain, deploying the ER and the WAR file to the uh, uh, to the to the JBoss for runtime. So <coughs> it can be possible that my uh, I have to run this configuration again and again. So I just need to configure the database every time, or I have to run uh, configuration only for the server, not for the central. So I can just uncheck these uh, options. Uh, like my data source is already created, so I no, I don't need to deploy application and resources. Mm -hmm. Click on next. I have to select the uh, database here. It can be DB2, SQL, Oracle, or SQL Server. In my case, it is Oracle. I'll click on this and next. This is the uh, uh, database GNDI. I have to keep it default. Click next. This is the security configuration screen where I just need to provide the uh, I just need to I just have the option to configure the security whether <laughs> I just want my secure, uh, security enabled for ad admin function process services uh, for identity service consumer okay and it will create the security domain uh, named as active boss in the uh, jboss standalone pool.xml so by enabling the uh, admin function that means that when i am launching the active server console it will ask for the authentication so basically those users uh, which are having the ab admin role should be uh, should be able to log into the active server uh, active server console so i am just checking for admin function only click on next so this screen is for the active server uh, active central configuration so I have to provide the host name and the port number where I just want to run my ActiveOS Central. So because in my case I'm uh, configuring on the same server, so it will be the it will be the same for the ActiveOS uh, ActiveOS server and the Central. Otherwise, I just have to run this uh, host and the port uh, port number. Click on next. So this is for my database configuration like uh, driver uh, driver class driver URL. So this driver URL I'm having uh, localhost 1521 ORCL. So this ORCL is the database name that should match here with the database name. I have to pick up the jar file ojdbc6.jar and the username the uh, ActiveOS is ActiveOS user we have created. So it, this will this will be the same user which which this configuration will uh, install the ActiveOS schema and the password and the connection connection timeout and the uh, minimum and maximum connection i can just uh, 
uh, tweak these values and validate connection I this because this is my first installation so I just have to check this to validate that uh, validate that all the private provided values are correct or not so if uh, I just have to click next so it will give you give me the message that database connection is successful otherwise it will give you the message like this a particular username password is incorrect or the TNS name couldn't find so th this is the deployment option like install database schema descriptor deploy ActiveOS and ActiveOS central so what does it mean that uh, in the user that we have uh, provided in the previous screen it will deploy the ActiveOS schema and the descriptor for that user and it will it will deploy the ActiveOS and it will deploy the ActiveOS central that means that it will deploy the ActiveOS ER file and the ActiveOS central war file to the JBoss deployment directory click on next I have to select the deployment directory in my case it's JBoss so I have to select JBoss standalone and the deployment folder click on next so details and I have to just click on install so it will uh, start configure, configuring the ActiveOS and here we can see that it will uh, it will try to deploy the ActiveOS ER ActiveOS central war creating the data sources and security dom domains and all the values that we have provided in previous screens it will configure all those and you can see here in the logs So once it is done, it will give me the message uh, build successful. I have to exit this and it will create this file install.properties. So here I can see that whatever all the values I provided while uh, configuring the active was. So once it is done, I just have to go to the JBoss directory and standalone deployment here I can see that active was central and active was ER file both are deployed here and I just have to go to the configuration and active standalone full dot XML I just have to open if I'll just move down uh, So this was my user and here I can see that it has created the data source. And moving further I can see that it has created the security domain as ActiveOS and uh, I can see that it is pointing to the application user dot properties basically by default it is not there so we just have to add this login module as it is here otherwise otherwise it will be pointing to a single user that is ab admin ad, uh, admin ab admin user so once it is done I can just start the JBoss. If I go to my JBoss uh, uh, configuration directory, I'll have this application roles and properties file. So I, I should have some users added in the uh, added in the JBoss. So this is my admin user. So for this admin user, I have given the AV admin, AV service consumer and all the all the roles so basically ab admin role is required to log into the activeos the server console so once my jboss is up i just have to log i just have to launch the activeos activeos console and log in with this user so by running the add user dot bad command in the jboss directory it will add the users uh, users here so with along with that i just have to provide whatever roles are required for any users so once my JBoss is fully up and running, I can just go to the JBoss deployment di directory and I can see that ActiveOS Central and the ActiveOS Server ER and the WAR file are deployed. 
and launch the browser and give the active host host name uh, uh, host name and the port number active uh, local host 8080 slash active host and I have to log in with the user which is having the AV admin role it will take me to the active host home page and I can click on the server status and it will say that starting uh, this with this fatal fatal error that I just need to configure the uh, I just need to set the uh, active host license I have to go to the admin and license click on add license and I have to copy and paste the license content here once it is done I have to click on add license go to the home page again and server status it will say that our uh, server is uh, cluster status that it is starting so after after some time it will start start it So after some time I can see that cluster status is running so my active host uh, engine is running now. So once it is done I, I can just configure the identity service, email service and messaging services and I can just deploy with this option all my PPRs and once my PPRs are all are deployed I can just configure uh, the active host with, uh, with the M, uh, IDD, M, MDM IDD and I can just invoke the task from the processes from the uh, MDM IDD application. So this is pretty much from the demos uh, from the configuration side on JBoss. So this is the KV article 154969 uh, how to do all these steps. Also we would like to hear the feedback on this video article uh, video KV from you and you can just write us to support videos at informatica.com and you can follow our twitter.com slash infosupport thank you very much